Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today you join me in what I think is a very nice looking 2011 BMW Z4. This is the 2.5 straight six engine and it's a manual, so it's quite a nice combination for a little convertible sports car. It's on, I guess, slightly higher mileage, 85,000, just under 86,000 by the looks of it. Good service history, two keys, it's quite a nice spec. I believe it's the M Sport one, so it's got a nice M Sport steering wheel, leather interior heated seats, we've got sat-nav, connectivity, all of that good stuff, which makes me wonder why on earth I've had this car in stock for so long. I bought this out of an auction, I think around about five months ago, and despite having had some interest in it, it's never really gone anywhere, and no one's ever been that serious about buying it. I know we've had quite a few test drives in it, and I thought, well, do you know what? We need to do something with this car. I'm gonna take it out for a test drive, see if there's something that I'm missing that people are noticing when they're on a test drive, and then perhaps we'll see what we can do about getting this car sold. Now, we've got this up for sale at just under nine and a half thousand pounds, I think I'm looking at the sheet, 9,495 pounds. And to be fair, that even to me sounds quite a lot of money for a 13 year old BMW. But as I say, it is a nice spec. These Z4s are usually really good news. They're good sellers. It's got the right engine, being the 2.5 straight six. No one really wants a four-part engine in one of these. And I've got to say, the styling on these looks so good. I do think it still looks like a very modern car, considering its age. I absolutely love the white paintwork as well. I think that looks really nice and sharp. I even quite like the black alloy wheels, but I am wondering if that could be one of the reasons why people have been put off. I'm just trying to think of the type of customer who is going to be buying this car and would they prefer to see this car original with either silver wheels or maybe ferric grey wheels but not black. We get a lot of customers who come in and kind of give it the whole thought of I don't like the black wheels it's too gangster and I can understand that. I think this probably would look a bit fresher and more original if it had silver wheels so that is something I'm considering. Of course, it's not really been the weather for a convertible car either. The nice thing about these Z4s is you've got the hard top roof, it's power as well. So you can drive this as a normal car. You still get some kind of squeaks and wobbles from trims that you wouldn't necessarily get in a coupe, but you're always gonna have that when you've got a convertible car, just because of the flex in the chassis, you don't have a monocoque shell on the car. These seats, while they're a little bit narrow, they are actually very comfortable and the heated seat element is practically boiling my skin off, which I do approve of, to be honest. Steering wheel and gear selector, they're all really ergonomic. They feel really good, they're nice contoured. The steering wheel, again, feels really modern, but the ride is very firm in here. I mean, that's what you'd expect from a sports car. But if you're looking for something as a bit of a grand tourer, you want to go bumping around the lanes in. This could get quite irritating because it really does throw you around quite a bit, even on minor bumps in the road. These are all things you're willing to put up with when you get the chance to get your foot down and really get this Revy 600 up into the top range where it sounds the best. We have got selectable modes as well, so we can put this into sport with the traction off. And I can promise you it is pretty lively, especially in the wet. This will definitely be keeping you on your toes. I have to say, I think the best thing about this car is the soundtrack, especially when you've got the roof down, which I'm not brave enough to do on a day like today when it is freezing cold. But you can imagine on a sunny day, with that straight six screaming, you'll be very glad you chose this and not a four cylinder. Talking of the roof, it's not the fastest in the world, I have to say. I mean, once it's got going, it kind of speeds up a little bit, but the whole process seems to take quite a while. So it's certainly not holding any records in that regard, but it's not so slow that it would really put you off the car. Well, on the whole, it actually handles really well. This is quite fun to drive on nice, smooth roads like this, but I have to say through the lanes, with these big, I think they must be 18 or 19 inch alloy wheels with the little slim rubber bands of tires on them. It's not the most enjoyable thing to drive. It's just hard work. You're getting thrown around and it's bouncing about. It would get on my nerves, but then maybe I'm just a grumpy old man. I mean, I definitely am a grumpy old man, but maybe that's the reason why I wouldn't be that enthralled with it. 
but on a better bit of road, you get the opportunity to get your foot down. <laughs> That's the stuff. So on the surface, it all seems pretty good. I can't really find any particular reason why this wouldn't have sold, unless it's for the weather or the wheels, perhaps. But there are a couple of the things I can check with the help of today's video sponsor. And that video sponsor is Carly, who make this neat little OBD reader coupled with their app, which is an incredibly handy diagnostics and customization tool. All I need to do is plug this into the OBD port of the car. Then I'm going to fire up the Carly app. I'm going to add a new car. I'm going to tell it that it's a BMW. It's a Z4. It's a 2011 gasoline. And we are going to connect. It's scanning the car, processing the vehicle data. So here we are at our main screen, and already we can see some of the benefits of this Carly scanner over a cheap OBD reader you might get on Amazon or eBay because not only have we got comprehensive diagnostics that not only gives you a generic code, but specifies it to your car, not only tells you active codes, but tells you yellow codes as well that are stored in the car, but aren't showing a warning on the dashboard. You can do a used car check as well. I absolutely love this feature, especially as a used car dealer, because you can plug this into the car and ask it to check every ECU in the car and find out what that mileage is. Because certain car scammers are quite capable now, of plugging in a computer and changing the mileage on a car, it will change that mileage in the ECU for that display. But what they might not have changed is all the mileages in the other parts of the car. So for the head unit, for the body control modules, they'll still be reading at a higher mileage. So if that car's been clocked, Carly can help you find it. And if that wasn't enough, you can buy this just to customize your car. You can turn on things like the audible alarm when you lock and unlock the car. You can change the interior light settings many other features all specific on your car but it makes this so much more fun and usable than your bog basic code reader i'm going to go ahead and do a used car check let's go so now it's running our used car check this would be so handy if you were looking to buy a car you've got this cheap little carly i mean i keep this in my bag at all times when i'm going to walk and things like that because if I get a problem with a car on the way back from an auction, it's this tiny little thing that connects to my phone and I can figure out exactly what's happening with that car. The Carly car check was finished. Now you can see the values from the currently connected car. Okay. Found data points, five, five. So to the reports, VIN number consistent, mileage values consistent, no manipulation detected, really handy. It's right there in front of you telling so it's checked this car and it doesn't look like it's been uh, clocked in the past. So that's good news. Well, that's enough fun for now anyway. Carly has shown us. I don't think there's anything too much to worry about with this car. And I could sit here all day doing customization. It's worth buying just for that. It could be a lot of fun sitting in your car, figuring out what customization you can do. So thank you, Carly, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the garage and figure out what we're gonna do with this car. So I can't really say exactly what's caused this car to sit around for as long as it has. There's a couple of things we could try with the wheels, for example. We could get them repowder coated into silver and perhaps that would freshen it up and attract a new market. They might have already looked at this car and discounted it because of the wheels. But I think before we do that, we'll just give this car a good clean, take a whole new set of photos. We'll revamp the description and see if it doesn't drum up some interest. If you are a trader and you've got a car that's a bit sticky and no one seems interested, one of the best things you can do is just take some new photos, especially if you took photos in a season that it no longer is. You might have taken pictures of this car in the sun with the roof down and whatever, and people will see that it's been sitting around for a while. Maybe that'll put them off. They'll think other people have looked at it and there's a reason that they've walked away from it. So I'm not ruling out changing the color of the wheels because I do think it would look better but I think there could still be someone out there who wants this with the black wheels. So we'll try tweaking the advert first and see where that gets us. Maybe I've missed something altogether, and if I have, then let me know in the comments. Is there a reason that this has sat around? Is there a, a sudden dislike for BMW Z4s? 
can't imagine why, because as I say, I think this thing looks awesome. I love the fact that you look down this massively long bonnet. You really do feel like you're driving some kind of big, powerful sports car. And other than getting your fillings rattled out a little bit, I can't see what there is to dislike about it, really. You'll never really tire of that. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, then find me, it's shifting underscore metal. If this car hasn't sold by the time this video comes out, then I will put a post out letting you know when it does and how it came about. Did we have to massively discount it? Did we have to change the color of the wheels? You can find out there. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I would be pathetically grateful. If you want any of my merchandise, such as a BM Crest air freshener, shifting metal air freshener, caps, we got hoodies, we got all sorts. I'm running a sale at the moment for the rest of February, so see if you can't grab yourself a bargain. I think that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.